Australia is the world's largest island nation, responsible for 16 million square kilometres of ocean. Australia's maritime zone includes 12,000 islands and covers all five of the world's ocean temperature zones. Australia's marine environment is home to spectacular biodiversity, much of it unique to Australian waters. Australia is a significant maritime nation, reliant on safe, secure and efficient international shipping for its economic prosperity. As an island nation, the sea has been the pillar of Australia's development. From the pioneering spirit of seafarers and mariners that led to European settlement over 200 years ago, through to the ships transporting our goods to key export markets today, the sea and shipping connect us to the rest of the world. For Australia and Greece, the sea and ships have played an important role in our global connectivity, for the defence of our shores, for the movement of our people, for our common history. In 1915, more than 400,000 young Australians sailed across the seas to take part in Australia's first major military campaign in Gallipoli, landing on the Greek island of Limnos. In World War II, Australians once again responded to the call for the common struggle for freedom, disembarking in Greece in March 1941. The strong bonds of friendship forged between Australians and Greeks last until our days. In the post-war period, when thousands of Greeks sailed from Piraeus across the seas to find a new home in Australia, they were welcomed by a friendly nation. I served as a first officer on board Patrice for 16 months since the first voyage, who was August 1959. The trip from Piraeus to the last port of Australia, who was uh, Sydney, uh, takes about uh, 34 days. Every time we carry 1,500 passengers, immigrants, and these people, they were coming from every corner around Greece. I was very much surprised to see sometimes the whole village coming from an island or from North Greece or from Peloponnesus to see their people going to a new country to find their new destiny and hoping one day to see them again. The Greek-Australian community is an integral part of Australia's multicultural society, making significant contributions to all aspects of Australian life. As an island nation, shipping is vital to Australia. Today, ships move one billion tonnes of iron ore, coal, wheat and other goods in and out of Australia's ports each year. 70% of this trade is with the Asia-Pacific, reflecting Australia's strategic location and increased economic participation within this fast-growing region. Greek shipping plays an important part in supporting Australia's trade performance, carrying Australia's energy, resources and food exports to our key markets in Asia and around the world. Australia is very important for Greek shipping. Australia is the largest exporter of dry bulk commodities in the world. Greece, on the other hand, is the largest ship owner of dry bulk vessels in the world. So what this means is that a significant percentage of Australian exports is carried on board uh, Greek controlled ships. Greek shipping, Thalassa, 
for Greece. It's Greece itself, it's our country. Greek shipping is maybe 50% of the European Union fleet, and uh, you will find a lot of it, a big, large number of it, service in Australia. So we can proudly say that uh, we are servicing the imports and exports of Australia, approaching, if not exceeding, the 50%. I believe that this successful example of cooperation between uh, the two countries can also be replicated and should be replicated in other sectors of the economy. Australia and Greece are working in the International Maritime Organization to promote maritime safety, security and pollution prevention. Australia is one of the world's most attractive trade and investment destinations. As the world's 12th largest economy, chair of the G20 this year, Australia is working with our international partners to promote trade and investment, economic growth and job creation. Australia and Greece share a long and strong friendship. It was forged on the front line as Australian soldiers fought shoulder to shoulder with the Greek people in World War II. Our two nations share close business links, especially with Greek ships transporting so much of Australia's resources. As well, there are almost 400,000 Australians of Greek heritage who enrich our culture. Australia is proud to be a friend of Greece and I look forward to us building an even stronger relationship in the years ahead.